it's me, that guy that you see once a year because you need to know how to install graphics in Football Manager. This year you should stick around after you've watched this video, but today I'm going to show you how to install face packs. And a face pack essentially adds players' faces that aren't in Football Manager into Football Manager. Obviously you can see here at the Barcelona side, every player has a silhouette face. Even on the squad screen this year, player faces feature in more places and I feel like a face pack is more important than ever. This guide is going to be broken down into two parts. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to download my mega pack that I like to use from Sort It Out SI. There are various other face packs out there. And then in the second half of the video, once you've downloaded your face pack, then we're going to cover how to actually install it. So first things first, yes, I like to use the Cutout Faces mega pack. It's a style that is in keeping with all the other faces that are already included in Football Manager. And it has, well, over 500,000 faces at this point. The alternative style that people like to use is the DF11 player face pack. If you want to download this one, you can. It's just not the one that I use. And of course, there are various other face packs out there. Now, in terms of downloading this face pack, you've got three options. One of them I wouldn't recommend. Two of them I do recommend. The first is you can pay as a premium user for Sort of OSI for a small sum of money and you get a one-click download button. But I fully appreciate if you're going to download some player faces, you don't want to pay, it's kind of understandable. Uh, what you're going to need to do is make sure you create an account, which you can do for free here on Sort It Out SI. As you can see, I'm signed in. I've got the option to log out. And if you are signed in, if you come to this web page, which I'll have linked down below, scroll down a little bit, you'll see that we have this option here, Download Complete Torrent Pack. If you don't see that option, it means you've not got an account. So having clicked on the torrent option on the download, you're going to get taken to this screen here and you're going to want to click on download initial torrent. Now to be clear, this file that we're going to download is a very small file, but it's a file that's going to basically be used in conjunction with another piece of software to download a big bundle of all 500,000 faces. I did mention there were three ways to download the face pack. The last that I don't recommend is you have to download it in lots of parts and it takes a long time. Just don't do it that way. Now the next site you're going to want to head to is Qbit Torrent. There'll be a link for this down below. You're going to want to install this software. Very, very nice and simple and it works on both Windows and Mac. Once you click on download, you're going to get taken to this screen here where there's a big list of different options. You are simply going to want to pick the one at the top, which in my instance, hit right here and now, is 5.1.2. And then within here, we just need to download the setup.exe. So now within your download, you should have something that looks like this. We have the sort it out SI cutout mega pack dot torrent file. And then we also have the setup exe for qubit torrent. Now, just to explain a little bit what we're going to do here, uh, qubit torrent is a piece of torrenting software. Um, Piracy is often what people associate torrenting uh, files with, but torrenting basically allows people to share files with one another. And what we're going to do is we're going to install this torrent client, and then using this file, we are able to download the hundreds of thousands of faces of other users who have already installed this pack. Anyway, you're going to want to double-click and run the setup.exe. Of course, if you're on Mac, you will have downloaded the Mac version of Qubit Torrent, and then you're simply going to run through the installer here. Just click in Next, and make sure you do read stuff. There may be certain options that you don't need to have access Active, but in general, what is recommended here is just fine. We're going to hit install, let it do its thing, and yeah, I'll, I'll join you. Well, as I say, once it's installed, it's now installed Qubit Torrent. Now, Qubit Torrent, I will admit, can look a little bit intimidating. We don't need to worry a great deal about this software, but all you need to do is go to your downloads folder, take your .torrent file that you downloaded from Sort Out SI, drag and drop it in, and then just select where you want to download this file to. And you'll know you've done it correctly because it will show you here the file that we're downloading and the fact it is 12.71 gigabytes. So I'm going to download this to my downloads, and this is now going to download that big 12 gigabyte pack of all the different player faces. Anyway, our download has now started. You can see the progress at the top here. Estimated time, less than an hour. I'm going to leave this to do its thing and I'll join you once it's downloaded. So having downloaded the face pack of your choice, it could be the one that I've covered it in the first half of this video, or it could be one that you've gone out and found. You're going to have that file in your downloads. You're now going to want to move it to your graphics folder in Football Manager. Now, this location will vary slightly. I'll have the written instructions down below for this as well. But on Windows, it's going to be under Users, your Windows username. Obviously for me, mine is Jack. Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2020, and then graphics and then on Mac slightly different I don't have a Mac to show you every year I get asked Jack can you do a guide for Mac specifically if someone buys me a Mac I'll I'll do the video I'll, that's a good deal for me and 
for you, obviously. Now, when you navigate to your Football Manager 26 folder, if there is not a graphics folder already here, please just make it. Just right click, new folder, create it. And then within here, you're gonna copy and paste in your sort out SI cutout mega pack if you follow my guide or whichever face pack of your choice you downloaded otherwise. From here, we're now gonna need to unzip this. In newer versions of Windows, you can just unzip using Windows. If you are not able to just unzip it, you're gonna need to download WinRAR, which there will be a separate video kind of explainer for it down below. But essentially, this file that we have here is a folder with loads and loads of stuff included that is like bundled up into a single file to download. So all we need to do is select our RAR file, right click, and then we're just gonna go extract all and then confirm that we're extracting it to this location. And from there, we now simply wait. And this is over 500,000 faces. So this can also take a while. The estimate that I'm getting on an SSD right now is 23 minutes. I think it will be done a little quicker than that. I have had this pop-up come up a couple of times for me. If you do get it, just make sure to click do this for all conflicts and copy and replace. I think with there being over 500 files and files, there are a couple of duplicates in there. Whilst you're waiting for the file to extract, if you don't want to have to use your internet bandwidth sharing the pack with other users, there's two things you can do. The first is right click and just select stop. Or if you do want to share it with other people and help out other people trying to download the pack, you can always limit the download speed that you're kind of providing other people. All you need to do is click on the cog, go to speed, and then for the upload global rate, just set this to a limit of whatever you want. Right now I'm uploading at half a megabyte if I want to lower it to 20 kilobits I can click apply okay and now that upload speed is going to slowly go down to 20 but at least I am still sharing it with other people like you watching it who might have also downloaded this pack. Anyway, now that our pack has finished extracting, we have the original .rar file and we have this folder which contains all of the player faces in and let me warn you, it's a very, 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 very big file or folder. Uh, it's got, like I said, 500,000 faces in it. Once it has finished extracting, you can delete this RAR file. I recommend doing it once you know the pack's installed. Once you've extracted your face pack of choice to your graphics folder that you made, you are done. We just have to restart the game. Now, if you did this process in past FMs, you might remember we had to go into our preferences and go and clear the cache and reload the skin. If you have not played an older football manager, you don't need to worry about it. And in fact, if you played an older football manager, you don't need to worry about it here. Those options no longer exist. If you follow the steps all correctly, these faces are all now just going to show up in game. We will load up this Barcelona save I had real quick and assuming everything's gone correctly, you can now see on the squad list here, all the players have their faces that didn't have them before. Hopefully this guide was straightforward and easy to follow. There are written instructions down in the comments, which you can follow as an alternative. And of course, if it did help you, leave a like on the video. It helps feed it in the algorithm, rise up the ranks. I am fully aware having followed guides on the internet myself, there's plenty of useless ones out there. I hope this one was useful for you. So now I know the face pack's working in game, I can delete the .rar file. That is going to free up 13 gigabytes, of course. Remember to remove it from your recycle bin, especially if you're on a laptop with not so much memory. With these videos, I do tend to get comments of people just telling me it didn't work. I'll be honest, that is really, really unuseful for me helping you troubleshoot. And sadly, with this guide, there isn't actually an easy way to spot at the point at which you've gone wrong. So all I can really encourage you is, if it's not working, double check in the written description the instructions and make sure for certain that when you made your graphics folder, it was within the FM26 location in documents. You'll know if it's the right place to make the graphics folder because your save games will exist in the games folder alongside it. And of course, if you've installed the face pack and you're not going to be downloading any further torrents, you can go to your installed apps in Windows, Qubit Torrent, and then simply uninstall it from here. Now you may have spotted if you were paying attention to this video, I don't have logos in my game yet. That is the video I'm about to go record and a link for it is hopefully somewhere on your screen right now. Get a logo pack, get a face pack, it makes your football manager look beautiful. And once you finish watching the guides for these different graphics on the channel, maybe check out my other football manager videos, especially if you're a new player. You can have lots of guides dropping this year. Thank you so much for watching the video. As always, I'll see you guys next time for more. And until next time, it's me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.